Hi there. This is a riddle about Handsome Harry's horse, Hermione. You know, you probably didn't expect Handsome Harry to have a horse, but many humans have horses. Now, Hermione was a happy horse because she hoovered up huge amounts of healthy hay. And Hermione got heavy. If she were a he named Fred, he would expect to be fed frequently. So Dr. Dan put Hermione on a drastic diet. Now one day, Handsome Harry had to go to the city and he left Hermione tied to a 10 foot long rope, 20 feet from her food. How did Hermione eat her food? Let me repeat the riddle. A horse is tied to a 10 foot long rope. It is 20 feet from its food. How does the horse eat its food? Here's a hint. Close your eyes and imagine the scene. Do you see Hermione? Do you see the rope? What's tied to the other end? If you can see that it's dragging on the ground, you're probably right. But that's not the answer. So what's the question, huh? huh? <laughs> I asked how Hermione ate her food. So the answer is she walked over to it, dragging the rope. She took a bite, she chewed, she swallowed, and she did it again until she was done. This simple riddle has three lessons. First, pay attention to your assumptions. Did you assume that the other end was tied to the fence? If you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Second lesson, answer the question. If you give the right answer to the wrong question, you're still wrong. The question was, how did Hermione eat? Please share this with your friends. See if it ties them in knots. I am Mike for the Be More Better team. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't, but always be more better, body, mind, and spirit, and then be even more better when you make someone else so too. And by the way, we have a horse in the family. His name is Ajax, and he loves carrots. And oh, and another, by the way, lesson number three is to use a tautogram, alliteration, or a paramion to help you remember better. And if you can't figure out what those words are, look them up. And now, a shout out to Stacy, who really loves horses. This has been a pleasure. Until the next time, bye now.